Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate It's cleaning them up so we can see what we're working with. I got some soap and water here. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them all up. See how all this dirt is around up in here? You want to make sure you clean this real good. You don't want to start sanding first without cleaning it because you'll sand dirt and oil, everything up in the sand scratches. And then when you start painting, you'll get a reaction possibility. So it's best to clean everything real good before you start sanding. I'm also going to be painting this, this LS X sand. It looked like they sprayed some clear on top of the bare metal and it rusted out. But I'm going to sand all this down and paint it. I'm not sure. I know it's going to be red and black and probably metallic gray. And probably the LS probably metallic gray. But I'm going to have this in the video also. Alright, I got them cleaned up. I was looking at this here curb rash. A lot of it ain't bad. I probably could just sand it down as far as I can get it. Then wipe some little glaze and put it on it because it ain't really no deep rashes. That's about the deepest one it is right here. But the next step is sanding everything down because that's the key to making anything stick. Any kind of paint, sanding it down. I don't care what type of surface it is, but if you don't sand it, it just ain't gonna stick. And chrome, a lot of people be wondering how you paint chrome. Sand it down. That's the main thing, sanding it down. And this is what we're gonna do. We got this scotch right. It don't take much. You know, the chrome in good shape, so I don't think we're trying to do is scuff it up so the paint will stick. We're going to use this scotch right here. It's the 07447. I use it on almost everything I do. I got the caps here. I see two mates and the other two mates. These are metal. These plastic. But we're going to go ahead and get that started. And I'll cut you back on. Let 
show you the difference. I'm not sand it. Sand it. When you sand the chrome, it's gonna turn into like a brush finish. It don't take much. If you still see some shining spots, that means you need to sand some more because the paint ain't gonna stick. I think I got it hit up in there. But you can tell the difference. Let me show you what I got going on. I got everything sanded down. The front side, also the back side of it. Got the cap sanded down. Now what I'm finna do, I'm finna go ahead and put some glazing pudding in my curl rash and my imperfections. It ain't very many of them. I'm just gonna use some bundo glazing pudding. You can get it at your local Walmart, Home Depot, or Lowe's. A lot of people talk about this, but I ain't never had no problems with it. As long as you don't put it in no big, like, imperfection, as long as it's a minor imperfection, you'll be fine. It's say like pinholes, scratches, minor dings, and hairline cracks. Don't put it in nothing big because it'll shrink up on you. And I started sanding this sand here. I think I came up with what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna paint it. It's gonna be black, so this black, it was in good shape, so I just scuffed it up. I'm just gonna mask it off and I'm gonna leave that black. I ain't gonna even repaint that black, but I'm gonna paint this gray, the LS. I'm gonna paint this red. I might outline it in gray and I'm gonna paint this red. Once the glazing put it dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take a sheet of wet sandpaper, 400 grit. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this. What I'm doing now, I'm just masking the tire off. I just got some pieces of masking tape tore. Then I just put a piece. I just keep going, put a piece here. Then I move on to the next piece. Do the same thing. It's a lot easier than trying to put a whole piece because it ain't gonna make them turns. It's best to tear them in pieces. Do a piece at a time. I think I'm going to use some newspaper, if I have enough, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough or not. I got all the wheels mashed off now. I also went on and wiped everything down with some wax and grease remover. I'm gonna take my air hose and blow everything off. Now, and after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my adhesion promoter. It's the Tamco HP 2010 Top Dog Adhesion Promoter. I'll put everything down in the description, everything I'm using. I'm gonna be spraying it with this uh, Saturn Manager 4400. I forgot what it was. It's the for the 400 D HVLP, it got a 1.2 tip on it.
season promoter. Now I'm finna go ahead and prime it. Well, I'm actually gonna use the primer as a seller. This high bill primer mixes photo one, but I'm gonna reduce it for a seller. And this U Paul, the U Paul UP2253. And the hardener is a fast hardener, UP2303. Finished up on the primer. I also did the same here. I'm finna go ahead and spray the LSX and light metallic gray. I'm not gonna wet sand none of this here. I'm going straight to, to the color. Then I'm gonna go to the clear. I ain't trying to get it that smooth. I think it'll be smooth enough. This the metallic silver I'm going with. And this the black base coat I'm gonna spray the wheels with. It's Kim Base Super Jet Black by Urican. with the first color that's the black and the metallic silver on this one here I just did the front side of the wheel because I'm painting the back side red and I'm gonna do some little red up in here too what I'm finna do now I'm finna spray an inner coat clear on it it's the Tamco HC895 and a coat and blending clear. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this to lock down that base coat. Cause I don't wanna peel up the uh, base coat when I start masking for the second color. You stand a chance of peeling it up, which I have done it without using inner coat clear, but I don't wanna take that chance. I ain't got to spray these no more. I just got to put clear on these.
Well, I just finished up on the mask. It took me just about all day, but I got it done. Also, went on the mask this LSX sign. This is gonna be red, and this is gonna be red. Got the other wheels over here. Put some tape on the back side so no red won't shoot up in there to get to the front. This the red I'ma use. It's Eurochem Slick Base Flaming Red. Just finished up laying the red base coat. Got the front and back side. Also got the sign over here. Now I'm finna let this go ahead and tack up dry so I can unmask. Then I'll be ready to spray the clear. Got everything on my ass. That's how the backside look. Just the front here. And it is the same. Now it's time to go ahead and put the clear on it. Seal everything. Lock everything down now. Let me find the clear. So we'll be using this clear here. Here it can. Lama clear. High solid mix is two to one.
never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the top.